What's up everyone, I have seen many people asking questions about Google Drive, Google Photos and Google One. And in this video, we will see the difference between the three. So let's get started. The most common, secured and easy to understand service is Google Drive. Google Drive is a cloud solution for individuals as well as teams. You can store and open many types of files including photos, videos, zip, HTML, CSS and a lot more. It shows the consumed and remaining data on the left hand side on desktop PCs. Google Drive is mostly used with Android phones to save data including photos, videos, messages, contacts and even phone settings. It comes as an app for mobile phones but it can also be used as a progressive web app also called PWA on Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge on Windows PC. Moving to Google Photos. The service is the media side of Google Drive. In Google Drive, you find a folder called Google Photos. The app brings all the media from that folder to your phone. The app uses those ears to show timeline on mobile phone app as well as on the web version. It also shows the remaining storage which is the same as Google Drive. Moreover, it offers to archive photos such as documents, receipts and other less important photos to save storage on the device. The For You tab in Google Photos, also called the Assistant, is the brain of Google Photos. It creates albums, animations, movies and even GIFs from the photos and media you take. It also brings the old memories and reminds you of good old days. You can manually create animations, movies, GIFs and colleges. The app comes with an editor which offers many options to edit photos and videos. Now Google Photos can automatically back up the data to Google Drive but it counts towards the 15 GB which you get while creating the Gmail account. But the app also comes with an option to upload as many photos as you want. In the app settings you can enable Full HD unlimited photos. The app will reduce the size to 1080 pixel and upload to the drive. It is perfect for normal Android users as it does not count towards the overall quota. Okay, at last, let's talk about Google One. Google introduced Google One in 2018. It is not Google Drive nor Google Photos. It is an app which combines and manages all the data used by all Google services such as Google Drive, Google Photos and Gmail. Without a subscription, Google One is useless. The app offers from low-end plans for individuals to high-end plans for teams. If you have the family plan of YouTube Premium or Google Play Music, then you can share your data with your family members too. Google One subscription not just gives you the storage, it also comes with so many benefits such as discount prices on hotels or rewards in Google Store. Depending on your location, you might find other rewards too. The app also comes with a support section where you can call, chat or email a support agent. This helps you solve problems quickly. All these services share the standard features but the purposes are different. If you have subscribed to the extended storage then you should install all three to get full benefits. But if you don't have any subscription then Google Photos and Google Drive apps are all you need. Anyway, thanks very much for watching Google Drive vs Google Photos vs Google One. I hope the video helped. Please let me know what you think of all three in the comments down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you and take care.